Good morning guys and welcome to the coffee bar. Ooh, we are going to Kenya. So I've heard through the coffee culture that Kenyan coffee is some of the best coffee you're ever going to get. Now I've had some pretty good coffee and I've been looking for this Kenyan coffee for a long time. However, my wife happened to find it at Walmart of all places. But the only problem is it's got the uh, Starbucks logo on it. Now she thought she was buying actual Kenyan coffee and there is Kenyan coffee in here. But when you read the fine print it's also blended with other coffees from Africa. So, so this is not a single source coffee, it's a blend. And as usual, we're going to bring you some interesting facts about Kenya. Interesting facts about Kenya. My computer is slower than I am. Number one interesting fact are the amount of close encounters with the Big Five. Now, i would never heard of the term the Big Five before, so here's the Big Five. Uh, the African lion, the African elephant, cape buffalo, black and white species of rhinoceros, and the African leopard. I'll look from a distance, thank you. Uh, the other interesting fact is, it is illegal to hunt in Kenya. Go down a little further, it says, it is a criminal act to hunt any protected animals in Kenya. Okay, so now I'm just a tick confused so can you hunt animals that are not protected or is hunting completely illegal if you know leave me a comment down below uh, there are no traffic jams on Lemieux Island that's because that Lemieux Island is located off the northeast coast of Kenya and it is car free meaning no vehicles I'm sure you knew it car free man I just never mind so they have a valley there called the Great Rift Valley which was formed more than 20 million years ago and they say that is where the earth split also Kenya is known for breaking world records in running they have some phenomenal athletes there Kenya is also home to the fastest land animal what is it? quickly don't cheat just put the comment down there and let me know if you know what it is it's the cheetah and the cheetah can reach speeds up to 120 kilometers an hour now for my American friends, that's 60 miles an hour. Faster than most cars I've owned. Kenya is also about the size of the state of Texas. And it has 68 different languages. I can only speak one. Mount Kenya is the, is the highest mountain in Kenya and second highest only after Count Kilimanjaro. Alright, that's enough about that. There are plenty of real weird facts. Now let's try the coffee. Now this is packaged and I'm guessing roasted by Starbucks. Now I can tell you there's no oils in this coffee whatsoever. It's extremely dry. And the best before date is the 27th of July. So that's another few weeks away. It does have an interesting smell to it. Now I am kind of uh, biased against Starbucks. Um, I think they're coffee is obviously overpriced and with the recent events of not allowing police officers into their stores who oh, come on people what are you thinking anyways I'm not going to get into that I don't like Starbucks and I think they're just overpriced I can go elsewhere and get the same or better coffee for a fraction of the money but never I, I digress let's try this coffee so the smell I should tell you also, this is a medium roast. It's not a dark roast like I'm used to, but there's still, there's no oils. It seems kind of dry. It does have a nice smell. Here's what we got. As usual, we're first try it black, then with milk. I'm not quite sure what I'm tasting there. Let's 
かでなおはい。This is not going to be a slam against Kenyan coffee, but this was supposed to be Kenya coffee because it says Kenya right on it. It's not all from Kenya, it's a blend from other jurisdictions within Africa as well. So it's not just Kenyan coffee. It's medium roast, which is something I'm not used to. I'm used to drinking dark roast. And I don't like Starbucks. So. Six of one, half does the other. Is my biased opinion dictating which way I'm going with this? But I'm not getting a whole lot of flavor out of here. I don't think it's going to rank in my top ten. Maybe just outside, but it's not going to rank in my top ten. Sorry, Starbucks Premium Select Collection Kenya Coffee. You didn't make the top ten. But I will tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a visit down to my friends at Colonial Coffee, not sponsored, down to Colonial Coffee in Windsor, probably in the next couple of days. I'm going to see if they have actual coffee beans that came from Kenya. No blends, no nothing, just came from Kenya. And I'm going to get the dark roast, and we're going to try that Kenyan coffee straight up. So I like my coffee to have an oily texture. So when I pour the coffee in here, I can see the oils on top of the coffee. If you know of coffee that's like that, leave me a comment down below. I'll see if I can find some. If you want to send me some, there will be an address in the description box. It's got to have the oil. The oil is the flavor. This is just too dry. Sorry, Starbucks. Not a knock on Kenya. I like Kenya. So that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. If you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And remember... Remember, the best way to drink coffee is the way you like to drink it. Later. Masai Mara Natural Masai